I'm back! If you're new here, my name is Julia. I love all things athletic apparel and all things athleisure. And will take any excuse to talk your ear off about leggings. With that being said, about four years ago, I made a video called How to Make the Peach Look Good in Leggings. And if there's one thing we need to know, it's that athletic apparel moves fast and we need to keep up. So four years ago, I was making a video about how to shimmy and shake things into all the right places. Um, guess what? They make it for you now. You don't even have to do too much. I am still going to teach you. And this does not mean that you need to have a big booty. You know how those social media influencers on TikTok and Instagram have a peach? They do have a peach most of the time. But a lot of the time, it is illusion. A lot of the time, it is just about where you put your legging. I'm going to teach you all the tips and tricks today about exactly where to put your legging. We're going to talk about material. We're going to talk about pattern. We're going to talk about structure. And we're going to talk about color. So with that being said, our number one absolute most important point is going to be what material you are wearing. They have so many seamless leggings on the market. Those can make your booty look good, but if you want your booty to look the best, you're going to go for a brushed performance material. It is so stretchy that you can take it and maneuver it as much as you want. Whereas seamless is just a little bit tighter and you can't exactly get it to stay where you want all of the time. Um, I am going to talk about some seamless leggings anyway though because obviously you need to look good all of the time, not just when you're wearing performance leggings. Pattern, I don't know what it is, I don't know why, but if you can, you're going to want some sort of tie-dye, multi-color type of pattern because for some reason it creates the illusion of just larger glutes. That also brings us to color. Color, you're not going to want white and you're not going to want black. You're going to want in between colors. Nothing super light and nothing super dark because super dark tends to blend in and super light tends to show things that you didn't even know existed. So we're going to find a mid-range color. Lastly, we have structure. Structure is going to be the way that the waistband sits, whether it has a scrunch or doesn't, if it dips in the waistband, um, what type of contouring it has. Those are going to be the things that make the legging. If you're going to come to me with just a straight across waistband legging, I still can teach you how to put that on correctly. But sometimes we just like to let the legging do the work for us. Without further ado, we have this big stack of leggings right here. And let's get into it. Let me go over the things that I'm going to talk about first, or the types of leggings I'm going to talk about first. I am going to show you the Alphalete Amplify in both black and green, just to show you the difference of what color makes. I'm going to show you the Lululemon Wonder Under Shorts, 6 inch, because those do have a straight across waistband. You have to do all of the work in these. I'm going to show you the Buff Bunny Aggressive Scrunch Butter Leggings. I'm going to show you the Paragon Sculpt Seam Plus Leggings, Alphalete Aura Leggings, the Vitality Cloud Leggings and Shorts in obviously our tie-dye pattern and a mid-range color. Starting off, we're going to start with the Alphalete Amplify. Let me go ahead and zoom this out so you can actually see the legging. Yeah. hi! <laughs> this is going to be one of the easy structure leggings. It's going to have the built-in scrunch, but it doesn't have a V waistband. It has sort of a contouring, but not that distinct seam V. So these are going to be a great option if you really don't want to do too much when it comes to a seamless scrunch it's usually sewn so it's it's basically just kind of stuck in place and the fabric just kind of moves around it whereas with something like the paragon sculpt seam plus that one has an elastic so that's going to stretch whereas this one just kind of th that's the only option because it has nowhere else to go let's start off with the number one basic and that is going to be how to put your leggings on when you put your leggings on you're going to want to go all the way to the bottom and create this little hole in the legging so that you can put them on basically like tights. You're gonna put them on and pull them up little by little. Once you've shimmied them up to your waist, one of the important parts is gonna be you make sure that you have the waistband sitting above your natural hips. We're gonna start at the knee. We're gonna tuck little bits up until we have this in the crease. And once we have enough material in the crease, we're gonna turn around, stick our hands right here we're gonna grab the extra material, pull up, and continue to do that until it is sitting exactly where we want. Shimmy it all around, and we're gonna be good. 
Now let me take this second pair of leggings off so we can get back to talking about the first. This is a seamless material. Um, it is going to hide cellulite pretty well, but it is going to be a little less stretchy than like a brushed fabric. One thing you want to make sure is that you're getting the right size in your leggings because if you get a legging too small, you don't have enough fabric to put it in all of the right places. It has a built-in scrunch. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it has a built-in scrunch right there. And so you don't need to do much once you get the legging on, except for kind of shimmy it so that the scrunch has a little bit more to pull on. These are gonna look good. They're not gonna look as good as like the green that I'm about to put on. That is strictly due to the fact that it is a lighter color. Black just tends to make things blend in. If you don't wanna be showing off too much, go ahead and get yourself a black pair of leggings. Here we have the green legging. And as you can see, there's just a little bit more definition. And that's really all the difference because they are the same legging. But you can see so much more definition in these leggings as like you have two cheeks instead of just one cheek. Here's my waist. We want that an inch above there and above in the back. You just get that scrunch sitting between the glutes. Maneuver it around a little. Make sure it is on your waist where it should be. And these are going to be a great option. You don't need to have a big booty to look good in these. You're going to look good anyway. These are full length on me, I'm 5'4 on most days, and these are just an example of a good seamless legging you can wear if you want your booty to look good. These next leggings are going to have only one of the four of the things we need and that is a brush performance material. It does not have a dipped waistband, it does not have a built in scrunch, actually I lied, it does have two. It is a good color. These are the Lululemon Wonder Under 6 inch shorts, they I don't believe make these anymore, I think they might be coming back. I wanted to show you these just in case you have a bunch of straight waistband leggings. You can make these work and you do not need to buy anything extra. They have enough material that you can move them exactly where you need them to be. They are a good color so they are flattering. As you can see it's like black mixed with a, I don't know, Looks it looks like a bleached black. Um, and so these are good color and that's why they are a good option. We're gonna put them on the same way we put the leggings on. Here we have our shorts. What I did when I put them on, so example, when I put them on, they would be, say, down here. We take them and we pull them up so that there's enough fabric in this hip crease to then pull from right here and shimmy everything to the middle. Let me show you what I say when I mean that the most flattering pattern is gonna be tie-dye. I don't know what it is, it just kind of gives the booty some dimension um, and some movement. But again, waistband above the hips by an inch or two. If you have your waistband in an incorrect spot, it's just going to cut off your glutes and not make them look flattering. Compared to if you put it up there, then you get the full length of your glutes. These are a good option because they are so stretchy. With the stretchy material, you can basically place it where it wants. We're going to like a brush material because if you have a slick performance material, you can put it where it needs to be, but it has the potential to like rub together and slide out because it's so slick. Whereas brushed, it's going to rub together and just kind of grab itself. Next up, we're going to have the Vitality Cloud fabric, and these are going to have three out of the things that we need, and that is going to be their good colors. So we have a maroon and the tie-dye. They have a dipped V waistband, as you can see right there and then they are brushed materials. These you are going to put on exactly how you put on the Wonder Unders because they do not have a built-in scrunch, so we are going to have to shimmy and shake them into place. But they are just going to have an, a little added kaboom because they do have that dipped waistband. These are the shorts if I just go ahead and put them on and do nothing to them. This is why I tell you that everything you see online you need to take with a grain of salt because once you scoot your leggings to where they need to be, they're going to look just as good. We're going to shimmy shake shimmy shake shimmy shake shimmy shake once we have that we're going to pull right here just a little bit we're going to take our hand we're going to grab under the glutes right here pull up to the middle just towards the middle and once we have them sitting like that 10 times better these are a good option because they are that color range not quite black so everything blends together but still dark enough that it's not going to show everything. These have that dipped waistband, so that dipped waistband is going to like shape your glutes for you, so you don't have to too much. Whereas if it was straight across, it would just look a little bit flatter, a little bit more 2D, so that's why we like a dipped waistband. These go above and beyond, and they dip in the front too, creating the illusion of an itty bitty waist, which we love, obviously. But these are going to be a good option. They've got color, they got waistband, they have the right material, 
Only thing that would make them perfect is if they had a built-in scrunch. Let me show the other two colors. We have our dipped waist stand that is just shaping our glutes for us so we don't have to. Good pattern, good material, dipped waistband. These are just gonna be a great option. Next, we have them in the legging. These are actually a small, the others were a medium, so I had a little bit more material to maneuver with. Um, but still, we've got great color. Dipped waistband shaping the glutes. Overall, great option. Next up, we're gonna have the Alpha Elite Aura. These have the material, the color, a dipped waistband, but they do not have the built-in scrunch. Um, they have contouring on the side to also shape your glutes, so you're gonna look for things like that. This right here curves around your glutes. These are a good option if you wanna go a little bit more modest with it. They're not so much cheek separation that you feel uncomfortable going in the grocery store. These are gonna be, if you put them on, just exactly how they come. No maneuvering. As you can see here, they have that sculpting seam that goes around the glutes but we haven't shimmied them into place yet. Here they are after they've been shimmied. You can see there's just some definition that wasn't there before. We have our dipped waistband. This one is a little less dipped than the last one that I showed you, but we still have that contour seam down the side. These are just a good option, and I just want to show you that you can make them look however you want. If you want them a little less in your face, you can kind of go for a bit of a scrunch, or you can go full scrunch. It really is whatever you want. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about Buff Bunny Aggressive Scrunch and the Paragon Sculpt Seam Plus. Buff Bunny more specifically, but these have all of the checkpoints that we're looking for. They are a brushed performance material. They have a built-in scrunch. They have a dipped waistband. They are good on the color range, more so the Buff Bunny. This is a little bit too light. It still is going to look good though. The back is gonna look like this. You have your dipped waistband, your built-in scrunch, and the extra material that allows the scrunch to stretch out. These, I do not use the word naked willy-nilly, but these truly feel like you're naked. You put them on and it just feels like absolute nothing. I love these. My only issue with them is they have pilled, especially where the cheeks rub together is where they've pilled quite a bit and where my shirt will rub on the waistband, but I still love these leggings and would still suggest these leggings to anybody. All right, these are gonna be what they look like with literally no maneuvering. Let's do a little maneuvering. Doesn't take too much. And here we go. It's just gonna be your best and your easiest option. I totally understand though that it's not for everybody. Some people like to go a little bit more modest and that is totally fine. I just wanna make sure that you have all the options to look your absolute best. And make sure that you can flaunt the glute gains that you've been working hard for. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you the Scope Scene Plus. I unfortunately chose in this color. This color is see-through. Legging as a whole is an incredible legging. I just chose an unfortunate color that I knew would be see-through and thought that I wouldn't care, but ended up caring. It just kind of shows everything. Here are our last leggings. Um, this is no shimmy. Let me give them a shimmy. There you go. And as you can see, in lighter colors, you can just see a lot more. But these are still a great option. Great material, built-in scrunch, dipped waistband, okay-ish color. But that last legging, that brings you everything you need to know to make your booty look good in leggings. I wanted to make this video for the women that need a little extra boost of confidence, for the ones that are comparing themselves on Instagram saying, why does my butt look like that? The odds are you're just not wearing your leggings correctly. Everybody's butt can look good in leggings. Thank you so much for coming to my video. I'm so happy to be back after a way too long hiatus. Please leave in the comments any questions you have, any suggestions for brands, any brands you want me to review. And I will go ahead and make a video on whatever you guys wanna see. Go ahead and give this video a like, subscribe if you are feeling so, so generous. But I hope to see you here again. Nothing makes me more joy than making these videos for you guys. Have a great week and I hope that your butt looks good in leggings. Bye.